Welcome back to a vintage vlogmas day nine. I am already back in my antique booth over here at the factory antique mall. A lot of people have asked me where my booth is located. I'm actually in Verona, Virginia. It's right outside of Stanton, Virginia. Anyways, I am back in my booth. I plan on doing a little bit of furniture rearranging today. The sweet lady that was interested in the work table as her kitchen island has reached back out and she does want to purchase it. So her two sons are going to be in here in like the next 15 minutes to pick it up. So I need to clear it off and get it out of this space. That way they have an easier time loading and can get in and out a little more quickly. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights They just picked it up and now there's this big empty hole in the middle. So that changes up my rearranging plans a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Oh, also I'm wearing the sweater that you guys saw me unbox the other day. I washed it and it looks good. My head high, even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know really I got everything as moved around as I can. I need to go back to the storage unit and get that big black shelving unit that I had in there. And I think I'm gonna put that up against this wall for now. I also brought all the smalls that I've been pricing over the past couple days so I can stock that shelf with those. I then need to go pick up auction items that I won last night and I haven't eaten lunch yet. That's one thing I'm really bad about is forgetting to eat lunch so I need to do that as well. So this is what I've come up with. I moved that shelf back. I decided not to move the painting just because I felt like it gave it a cool layered look. So that black shelf is going to go here and if I back up I moved the cabinet up front I moved this cabinet up front, that black dresser there. I put this bigger cabinet there. I'm much happier with this setup. I now have this like walk space that can kind of come from one of the rooms into this room. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with this big blank slate yet, but I'm coming up with ideas. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. So let me go grab something to eat, probably, uh, like a chicken sandwich or something. Then we'll go to the storage unit and get the big black piece. That thing is not easy to lift. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to get onto the truck. Y'all are about to see me struggle. So I've had some food and I feel a little better. Uh, and now I'm back in my storage unit, which is much easier to see now that it's daylight. But I am going to grab this big black shelving piece and some of these smalls and just a few other things. So like these mirrors back here too. Those need to go with me. Oh, it's cold. I swear my storage unit's like in a wind tunnel or something because it's so much colder over here. <laughs> So I have the shelf and this is kind of more just a display piece for me. I mean, I have a price tag on it and someone wants to buy it, they can, but I don't expect it to sell. I also, I've always struggled with this corner back here. I don't want to do a corner cabinet. 
just because those are so hard to sell. Every time I've had a corner cabinet, they've sat for months. I'm just gonna have to play around with it in my head for a little bit. The next step is taking a few screws out of the wall from where something that was hanging up sold and then hang some new stuff. So that's the next task. And then I can put stuff on the shelf. Sometimes you're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Okay guys, very quickly because we are very behind schedule, but I did what I could with what I had. Here's the clothing aisle like I had before, but I moved that big piece over. And if you walk back, move this shelf here, and then you have that little tunnel there, which opens you up into the next room. I hung up all the paintings and uh, kind of muted color items there. Then I got the two big mirrors there and the shelf which has all the small stuff. I thought it was gonna fill it up completely, but it, it still has some empty spaces. I really, really love this wall now, and I still have an issue with this corner, but we'll figure that out later. Dresser there, the bowl there, and I put some small stuff on top, but I need more. There is that cabinet, which looks amazing. Then I put this cabinet here with all the purses in it and stuff up top. It flows a lot better. It feels a lot more uh, cohesive. Now we need to go pick up auction stuff and we are like 30 minutes behind schedule. I gotta quickly show you what I have. This bohemian brass hanging light. It doesn't have any kind of bulb inside, but very cool, very pretty, very big. Two yard longs. And so we got this one, it looks like with sailors. There are words here, but I can't really read them right now, but this piece is huge, huge panoramic. And then I got a smaller one and it looks like it's army. And I like the frame on this one. It's a raw wood. And I think this was probably the coolest thing that I found. It was this old glass sign, tubed glass sign that you would have put a light in so that it could glow. And it says groceries. I will move it inside my truck because I'm very scared I'm going to break it. So not much, just four items, but all cool pieces that I'm really happy with. That is it for Vlogmas Day 9. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe. Also hit the bell notification. That way you can be notified for whenever I post a new video. And please follow me at Amanda's Mercantile on Instagram. That way you can see anything that I do behind the scenes. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. So that is it for Vlogmas Day 10.